Hey guys, this is Faith, and today we're at the Performing Arts and Events Center in Federal Way, and I'm very excited, and we're going to go on an adventure, and I'm going to bring you guys with me. Okay, so we're in the dressing room. It's really cool. There's like a whole bunch of mirrors. What's up? <laughs> What's up, Faith fans? Over here prepping for tonight's show here in Federal Way. We got here a little early, which is a good thing, so excited to be here. So enjoy the tour with Faith. Here's my mom. She's in her music zone right now, but yeah. Hey guys, so I have Lil Mike and Buddy Bone, and I'm going to be interviewing them. So let's get right into it. Um, what are some things like it's you hyped before the show or any show? Ooh, mm. we'd like to get the mix right. The performance mix has to be right, especially with the crowd, because. Uh, we like to base our songs on what type of crowd it's gonna be. You know, if it's if it's a Rez show, we're gonna pick Rezzy tracks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like listening to death metal. <laughs> that hurts me. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, like he said, listening to other songs and getting hyped up. Um, food is fuel. Food yes. gotta fuel up. Good lord, yes. <laughs> I love food. <laughs> um. What's the one thing you guys enjoy most about traveling and doing what you do? Ooh. Seeing the new cities that we haven't been to, uh, the new fans, seeing the new fans, yeah. And, uh, just growing our base, uh, growing our business. What do you think, Mike? Um, yes, I see him. Um, pretty much and then just meeting the fans like he said <laughs> what do you think? if you guys could give some encouraging words to the youth what would the words be well something we like to tell people is man uh, don't let haters change your value or hate don't change your value so don't let it get to you basically you know uh, I mean there's too many people that are soft out there and they just can't take social media criticism and bully online bullying and all that and they just break down at the first comment, you know, oh, negative yeah. comment. And we're like, dude, just don't let that steal your joy, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, this that's haters are fans too. Yeah, yeah. I, I tell um, I, I tell people, uh, everybody's a, com a comedian, and not everybody everybody's funny. funny. Yeah. Okay. On with the next question. Next and last, what is your favorite show that you guys are currently binge watching right now? Ooh. Can we promote it like that? <laughs> uh, I would say no. <laughs> Res Dogs. <yeah. laughs> no. Next to Res Dogs, what would it be? Uh, together we're watching Cobra Kai. Cobra oh, Kai. Yes. Resident Alien just came on. That's pretty cool. Oh, Resident Alien. Yeah, that's a cool little show. And I just finished um, All of Us Are Dead. <laughs> it's a zombie movie. I like zombies. Yeah. We like watching Battle Bots. <laughs> Don't ask why. No. <laughs> okay, well that is this interview. Thank you guys for sharing some words. It's all love. Thank you for having us. Thank on. you. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Okay guys, so here we have... Mike Ruffin from NSL Entertainment, Native American Comedy Gym. Okay, so I'm going to be interviewing him and he's gonna be sharing some words. So, what gets you hyped before some shows? 
just the atmosphere, seeing people, you know, coming in and people texting me and looking at all the, the different um, comments on the post and stuff gets me hyped. I've been hyped for, for a week now. I'm glad that this day is here. Okay. Um, what's the one thing you enjoy about traveling and doing what you do? Traveling? Um, I love to travel, but I'm also a homebody. I like to be at home, too, with my kids and my dogs and stuff. But when I do travel, I mean, obviously, I like the, the good weather that we travel to. We go to L.A. quite a bit. We're in Las Vegas quite a bit for different events and stuff. But, I mean, I'm really a homebody. I like being at home, but, you know, traveling's not bad. That's great. If you could give some encouraging words to the youth, what would the words be? Stay in school. Don't ever, ever, ever give up. You got a dream, stick to it. Somebody once told me I'll never be who I am today, and I'm here. So okay. believe in yourself, believe in your dreams, and you can do anything you want to do. Awesome. Okay, last question. What is your favorite show that you're currently binge watching right now? Ghost, book two. <laughs> Power of Ghost, book two. That I, is. I, I'm, I'm hooked on it. It's, it's great. I'm hooked on it. That's a good show. Yep. <laughs> okay, so that is the interview with... Mike Ruffin and SO Entertainment, Native American Comedy Jam. Come check us out. Thank you. guys then they have some bussing stuff right here pretty cool pretty bougie oh, the then here's the dressing room dressing room we're in what's up um do you guys miss skating videos i miss those videos but let me know Okay. So we have... James Junins, Farmington, New Mexico. I am Redwater Clan, born for the bear people. So we are going to do um, an interview with him. So what gets you hyped before a show? Actually, just hanging out, talking to people really just kind of puts me at ease. Not so much hype, but it allows me to relax where I'm more able to take that hype so to speak, to the stage. Okay. What's the one thing you enjoy most about traveling and doing what you do? You get to see all these different places from A to Z while getting paid for it. Like we're from New Mexico. I got to travel with my wife here and we got to see all the sights and sound of Seattle all based on the gift. I like to call talent the gift because it's a gift to us. The one thing that we as adults always tell our kids is that follow your dreams, but we never tell them that you should also prepare yourselves for the nightmares. Because when you do follow your dreams, there's going to be heartache, there's going to be pitfalls, there's going to be failures, there's going to be, am I good enough for this? There's going to be self-doubt, all the negativity that involves success is that very wheel that I was talking about. So when we feel like quitting, when we feel like we get into trouble, we feel like we're less of. So I tell the kids, when you wanna follow your dreams, be prepared for the nightmares. Mm -hmm. Okay, and lastly, what is your favorite show that you are currently binge watching right now? Her relationship and all she has is her baby and she's a, a maid. It's on Netflix, I forgot what it was, but we just got maid. so... Made, yeah, that's the new one that I'm been watching now. Nice. Okay, well, thank you for sharing some good words. Oh, yeah, awesome. Yeah, bye. Hey, guys, this is Faith, and today we have... Casey Nicholson, Crazy Casey, 
aka Rezalicious. And today we're going to be interviewing him, so let's get on with the question. Okay, so what gets you hyped before a show? Man, just imagining myself in front of all the people that I'm about to uh, entertain in front of and uh, some music uh, is always a good thing and uh, just imagining good vibes. That's what always my imagination and just me seeing uh, laughter is what always gets me hyped up. Okay, um, what's the one thing you enjoy most about traveling and doing what you do? Oh my gosh, get to meet so many people, um, cool different cultures, cool different tribes, um, cool different destinations. You know, I probably would have never ever been here if I didn't follow my dream in terms of comedy. So going into that kind of stuff really, um, really puts things in perspective of like, wow, I'm actually doing this. I'm actually putting air miles on my credit card. Um, if you could give some encouraging words to the youth, what would the words be? Yes. That would be it. When there's opportunities for you to do something, I want you to say yes. Um, take a chance. Uh, take a risk, especially if it's going to benefit you in your educational or professional endeavors. Okay. And last question, what is your favorite show that you are currently binge watching? Jeez. Oh, uh, Will Smith's uh, on YouTube. It is called The Life of Will Smith or something. It's on YouTube. It's Will Smith and it's it's a really good one. It kind of journeys him. Oh, I'm going to lose so, so much weight, but then he ends up realizing he's a uh, doing it for the wrong reason. It's a really cool, cool thing on, on YouTube, Will Smith. Uh, watch me lose 20 pounds or something like that. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing some encouraging words. And this is Casey. Yay! Bye -bye. Hey guys, this is Faith, and today we have... Tatanka Means here with Faith. All right, so I'm going to be interviewing him today. So here's the first question. What gets What's one thing that gets you hyped before the show? Oh man, uh, seeing the other comedians, um, just seeing everybody backstage, um, kind of peeking around the corner and uh, seeing the audience just trickling in. Yeah, okay. So what's the one thing you enjoy most about traveling and doing what you do? Um, meeting new people, um, hearing the new laughs. Uh, everywhere I go, the laughs are always different just a little bit. So I'm excited to hear the laughs here in Federal Way, Washington tonight. Yeah, okay, so if you could give some encouraging words to the youth, what would the words be? Um, don't be afraid to go out of your comfort zone, um, to try new things, and when you try new things, sometimes they're hard, um, but you gotta keep doing it, you gotta stick with it, if that's your passion, if that's your dream. Um, you know, dreams are, are uh, not easy to obtain, um, you gotta work hard towards it and, and, and don't give up. Sometimes, you know, you run into uh, obstacles and, and things are hard sometimes. You just gotta keep going. I think those are the one, people who make it, those are the people who last are the ones who, who just stick it out. Okay, and last question. What is your favorite show that you are currently binge watching right now? Oh, that's a good one. Dang, on the spot. Ah, I haven't been watching a lot of shows, I just have a new baby. <laughs> So I haven't been able to watch TV. Um, well, congratulations. Thank you very much. I would say, uh, what do we watch all the time um, on Nip? Uh, oh, oh. Handy Manny. Handy Manny. Handy Manny. Okay, well, that was our interview with... Stonka Means! And shout out to, uh, I'll say Reservation Dogs. Yeah. Mike Boner's here. Yeah, of course. Okay, so thank you. Bye. tribe and the three affiliated tribes, Malakota, um, Namakota, and Hewaktokta. I'm Lakota, Dakota, and Hiratsa. I'm a mom, I'm a power dancer, I'm a comedian, um, I'm an auntie, I'm a dog mom. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are going to interview her. 
her and we're gonna go on with the first question. So, what one thing that gets you hyped before a show? Probably talking to my family, uh, talking to one of my girls or my, um, just having that, um, that time to like run through my nerves or if I'm getting anxiety or if I'm getting nervous, it's fun to like um, just visit with them. Or like this show, I visited with the other comedians, joked around and it just really helps me with my um, nerves, but also knowing like somebody's going through, they're nervous too and uh, we're going through this together or just having somebody in my close circle say, we're so excited for you, it's gonna be so good. And then I'm like, okay. It helps me like calm down a little bit more and like all right all right so that really gets me like opposite like so i need to i need it's uh, it's opposite of getting hype i need to like oh, i need to like calm down because i have so much nerves or anxiousness and um yeah so i have to reach out to a friend or yeah. family yeah okay uh next question is what's the one thing you enjoy most about traveling and doing what you do eating hey <laughs> no I, I do i mean i i love the part about um right when i go on stage um right when everyone is like cheering and they're excited that is my like favorite part um the traveling traveling can get exhausting but it's it's really beautiful to be in the airports and flying like all of that I don't ever take any of that for granted and I'm really thankful to do that because not a lot of my relatives not a lot of people that I know I don't even see a lot of natives like in airports um so it's a it's a big thing when I'm traveling um it's also a sacrifice because I'm a mom and I um it's really hard to be away from my girls but what I love about uh my favorite part about it all is um eating different kind of foods uh sometimes you know different coming to different communities like here i've been in washington i don't know how many times people have brought me salmon and that's like i know that's a big deal that's a really big honor and um i just i love that trying different foods and then that first part when i'm walking on stage it's a it's a surreal moment it's like a moment where i almost feel like i get choked up and i get emotional but it's um it makes it all worth it okay good good answers mm -hmm. if you could give some encouraging words to the youth what would those words be <sighs> it would be it would be remember that you could do anything and i never really understood what people meant when they'd come to my high schools and be like reach for the stars and be like what does that even mean <laughs> tell me something that you did i learned through storytelling and so one thing that i want to share with the youth is anything you want to do anything anything that you want to do um remember that you you're capable of that for example like i thought oh i'm gonna put on this wig i'm gonna put on this this outfit and i'm gonna act like one of my aunties or i'm gonna act like my mom or i'm gonna act like um i'm gonna do a funny video and i'm gonna make the people laugh i'm gonna be rugged i'm gonna do everything opposite of what people see as good i'm going to be an example of what not to do and um i made i made it out of a living and i made i make a living off of a character and so remember that we're in this day and age that you could do anything that you want and you can get paid for it as long as you believe in it and you you know that you're talented and you're if you if you work hard and you stay consistent doing this every single day if it's drawing, if it's you're here interviewing, if this is what you want to do and you want to make a difference in people's lives. For me, I'm using my gift of storytelling and um, some people might look at it in a negative way, but that doesn't matter. I believe in that. And manifestation, believing in your words, believing in yourself and your mind that you're making a difference in someone's life however that is, remember that that's all that matters, but having a team around you, having somebody that believes in you, probably even more than you believe in yourself at times, too, it's important who you keep around you. So if your your friend over here is drinking and you're like, you love your friend, and you're like, no man, I don't drink though, you know, that's not, that's not, a good, that's not good for you to be around. Remember, the close people that are around you, remember that it's so important that they're uplifting, that's so important that they're using powerful powerful words, that's so important that they, when you're down and somebody's ridiculing you or they're being mean to you 
or they're, they're um, you know, they don't believe in you or they're, they're saying like, many times people have told me, I'm, you're not funny or what do you think you're doing? Just being obnoxious. But then I'd go to my, I'd go to my friend and be like, man, I really feel bad. They're, they're saying stuff about me. They're saying this and I'm not funny or they're saying I'm obnoxious. It's really hurting my feelings. And maybe I, sometimes I cry, I'd cry about it. But my, my advice is uh, remember that things are gonna get hard. When you love something, you have to love it. And even, even the hard parts, you have to embrace that. You have to use your inner circle. You have to talk to them, you have to lean on them. Um, and I've tried it the opposite way and I've tried to cocoon and I've tried to handle things on my own. And I don't, I don't operate like that. I need to talk through things. It's so important for your mental health for your spirit and your mind and, and also your heart to be connected and for people to be loving you because if you don't feel loved if you're not loving yourself how are you gonna give your gift to the people with your love with your your however however you're giving your gift it's important for you to have good people around you and so my that's my story and that's my own experience and um i feel like that you need to hear that from somebody who's um living this life okay um last question what is a show that you're currently binge watching right now oh. hey <laughs> um not even watching any show right now so oh. yeah not lately yeah nice yeah the latest, okay um, the latest one that you just got hooked into you don't want to see it <laughs> yellowstone hey <Yes. laughs> There we go. All right, so that was our interview with... Oh, Tanya Johan. Yeah, okay. So, so just staring at you? <laughs> okay, so thank you for sharing some really encouraging words. Yeah, no problem.